In the previous video, um, we did a double summation of the form sum uh, i sum j of i plus j. Uh, and if you haven't seen that video, um, uh, feel free to go and watch it, how to solve basic double summation questions. In this video, we're going to um, advance on this a little bit, and we're going to be doing um, double summations where it's i times j and in actual fact we can do some quite cool stuff with i times j that we can't do with i plus um, so first of all let's just try and um, solve the question in hand which is the sum from i from 1 to 3 j equals 1 to 4 of i times j and we're going to do it with the same method that we used uh, in the um, in the previous video which is that we're going to put uh, I, which will go 1, 2, and 3, because I is from 1 to 3, and J, which is going to go from uh, 1 to 4. Okay, so let's see. When I is equal to 1, that's the first time we go into this loop, we have J is equal to 1, so that will be 1 times 1. And then when I equals 1 and J is 2, that will be 1 times 2, 1 times 3, and 1 times 4. And then the second time we go into that loop with I equals 2, it will be 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, and 2 times 4. And then the third time we go into this loop will be 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4. And this little beauty here is basically the answer to this double summation. And when we add up all of these various uh, cells, uh, we get um, 60. Now, let's just use a different color here. If we look at one, two, and three here, one, two, and three here, one, two, and three here, and one, two, and three here, and then let's choose green. And uh, we also look here at the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. We can see that basically uh, this sum that we have just done is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 times 1. Add 1 plus 2 plus 3 times 2. Add 1 plus 2 plus 3 times 3. Add 1 plus 2 plus 3 times 4, which is the same thing as 1 plus 2 plus 3 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Now, why this is very interesting is that if we look at this summation here, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is basically the sum here, and 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is this one here, which means that because we are multiplying, it doesn't work when we're adding, but because we are multiplying, what we can do is we can take the i out of the inner sum, because the inner sum only sums from j equals 1 to 4. Not, it's not summing the i. Um, and we can move it out. So we can rewrite the sum between uh, i equals 1 and 3, the sum between j equals 1 and 4 of i j. We can rewrite that as, moving the i out, we can rewrite it as... The sum between i equals 1 and 3 of i times the sum between j equals 1 and 4 of j. And this is far easier to calculate because we know that the sum from i equals 1 to 3 of i, well, that's 1 plus 2 plus 3, and we know the sum on, of j from 1 to 4 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is 6 times 10, which equals 60, which obviously gives the same answer but it is far easier to do this. Now, we can generalize this a little bit. Um, let us have a look, for example, at the sum from i equals 1 to m, uh, n, j equals 1 to n of i, j. OK, well, we've already seen that we can move this i out of the inner j loop, and we can rewrite this as the sum i equals 1 i, the sum j equals 1 to n j and this here is basically going to be 1 add 2 add da, 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 add m and the uh, j loop is going to be 1 add 2 add da, 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 to n and this is just the sum of the first m natural numbers which is uh, m m plus 1 over 2 that is the sum of the first m natural numbers and the sum of the first n natural numbers is n n plus 1 over 2 and so therefore we know that the sum uh, between i equals 1 and m the sum j equals 1 and n of i j equals 
m n plus 1 times n n plus 1 over 4 which is just that one times that one and this gives us a general solution uh, now if we just go back to our question whereby we had uh, m was 3 and n was 4 let's just check that this actually works if we put m equals 3 into there and n equals 4 that will give us 3 times 4 times 4 times 5 over 4 which equals 60 so the, the formula is correct now the beauty of this is that we can uh, do this basic method for far more complicated double summations because we can move the i out. So let's just have a look at this one. Now this one looks far more difficult. So we got the sum between i equals 1 and k, sum between j equals 1 and k, of i squared times 2j plus 6. As this i squared is multiplying by the 2j plus 6, we can move it out to here, and therefore we have the sum between i equals 1 and k of i squared times the sum between j equals 1 and k of 2j plus 6. And this is a far, far easier um, thing to solve because uh, the sum between i equals 1 and k of uh, i squared is basically the sum of the first n, or sorry, the fir first k squares, which is a well-known formula, which is k, k plus 1, 2k plus 1 over 6. That's basically the sum of 1 squared, or 2 squared, or 3 squared, all the way up to k squared. That, that's a well-known formula. And here we have, uh, and that's going to be times by, we have here, let's just put this in bracket. I don't want to do too many. So that's 2. We can move that 2 out there. Sum between j equals 1 and k of j. Add the sum of j equals 1 and k of 6. Okay, so that is k, k plus 1, 2k plus 1 over 6. Now, the sum between j equals 1 and k is just basically the fun of sum of the first k natural numbers. So that is 2 times k, k plus 1 over 2. And the sum between j equals 1 and k of 6 is basically just 6 when j equals 1, add 6 when j equals 2, add 6 when j equals 3. So that will be 6k. And so all we need to do now is just uh, simplify this. That's k, k plus 1, 2k plus 1 over 6. That cancels out times by k squared add 7k. And we can slightly simplify that. So it be k squared over 6, k plus 1, 2k plus 1 times k plus 7. And that there is the answer to this which is far more difficult than the one that we originally did. But in actual fact, because we can take this i squared out, uh, which we can only do when we multiply, we can't do it uh, when there's adding, um, we can now solve much more complex um, double summations like this one. I hope you found this useful. Um, if you did, um, please uh, like the video and um, subscribe to the Gressy Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.